after the dawn broadcast, he relieved some of his cabinet ministers from the party and seized their their property, the houses that they built, and some was shown to us when uh, we could visit those places. For instance, Krobud Eduse's uh, Asante house was seized for the government. And some others too. Both use uh, Black Star <laughs> house was seized. Nobody probably could buy it, as I understand. But finally, when it was overthrown, they released these properties uh, to his uh, ministers, those that he has removed them from the party. Some came back, some didn't come back. Unfortunately, like I could say, Bodema, K.A. Bodema, from Volta region, one of his best partner in the fight for ind independence. And some people say that without Bodema, Nkrumah would have been forgotten because when he was in prison, it was only Bodema who took the mantle upon himself to popularize the man Kwame Nkrumah. He, Bodema, left the party and uh, went into exile and was doing some nefarious uh, activities against Nkrumah. You know, uh, later on, you read it from uh, books. And in fact, when I was a graduate student in America, I read a book or books in which Berdeman's name came up. Danquois, J.B. Danquois' name came out. K.A. Buzier's name <laughs> came out. In other words, his own African people, some of them, and especially they were the elite, were trying to uh, get rid of him. Unfortunately, they couldn't. Finally, when uh, he wanted to intercede uh, in the war between Vietnam and the United States, the CIA, with the help of some soldiers and policemen in Ghana, overthrew him. That is, that is sad, and that is the reality today. Uh, but what I think is also important is that we need to understand that some of these mistakes have been made from the beginning uh, in that we, it wasn't very clear for us the kind of independence that we actually wanted. Uh, also, this, one, this also can be natural in that if we have fought a war like the American did, because the American, I think is a good example of independence, because any country can be captured by another country. But how that country that captures you lives has a lot to say of the kind of freedom you want to claim to have. Because now you can look at the, the former French colony who are said to be free, but they still have to keep their reserve in French bank account. They still need to use, of course, all across Africa, we say we are free, but we are not really free mentally. We are not free linguistically. We are not free even culturally. 
militarily we need to depend on those who were once our enslaver in terms of the economy we are tied to them in currency so it, it wasn't really clear that is why i find it difficult to make a comparison in fact it is not comparable the kind of independence that african countries have and the kind of independence that they should have have because independence cannot be given to you actually you need to get it no one can give you freedom so i want you to speak to the point of where we actually got it wrong because that is very important for us this didn't happen only in ghana it happened all across in africa a good example will also be in nigeria but this is very important for us where did we get it wrong from the beginning well from the beginning like you say or you just said it we didn't fully understand what independent meant uh, we thought that when they give you a flag you compose your own national anthem you are independent but there are a whole lot of things, like you said, culturally, militarily, socially, economically. Most of us don't understand that, didn't understand it. Let me give you an example of the product, cocoa, which the colonial uh, administration needed for survival if i could say that we had everything here it was like the vietnam uh, it was like uh, the war that happened in nigeria okay the eastern Nigerian knew it has oil, crude oil, but the government uh -huh. was giving contracts to Shell and others. And it has happened in Ghana and even now in a different form. They were, Shell was destroying Eastern Nigeria by the crude oil was leaking from many, many points. And they wouldn't do anything about it. To the extent that a few Eastern Nigerians woke up and the government didn't like it and it sends the, the soldiers to go and stop it it hasn't happened here yet it didn't happen in ghana but like i mentioned coco when i became a graduate student i read a book written by Geoffrey Bing, B-I-N-G, who became the first European to hold the position of Attorney General and the Kwame Nkrumah. Geoffrey Bing, title of the book is Reap the Whirlwind. And you saw what you reap. 